right, so I've been working as a personal trainer for a couple years now. I even have my own little fancy plaque to prove it. Okay, I am. Um, so I get questions all the time about um, which certification to do, you know, how long it takes to study for it, uh, how much it costs, and just how it is working in the industry. So I want to make this video today. Um, this is just my opinion. I'm just going to keep it raw, unfiltered. I don't mean to diss anyone in particular or just say anything bad about the industry. I just want to be real and let people know what exactly it's like so that they know what they're getting into. All right, so which certification should you get? That's the question. There's this huge, huge debate about which certification is the best. Um, and in my personal opinion, I don't think there's one single answer to that. I think it really depends on your career and your personal goals. Um, because certain certifications will focus on certain things. Um, there's definitely top tier and lower tier ones. Um, so in my opinion, the top three best certifications that you could get would be ACSM, NASM, or ACE. Um, and then underneath those in like the second tier would be like ISSA, NSCA, NESTA, and then there's a bunch of other ones in like the third tier, in my opinion. Um, will you be able to get a job if you just have like a second tier certification? Maybe, possibly. Will you be able to get a job if you have a first tier? Most definitely. Um, but as far as which one you should pick, I think it really depends on your career goals. Um, so for example, the one that I did, which is ACSM, um, it focuses a lot on the science of training, science of anatomy, physiology. A little bit of nutrition but mostly on how the body works how the body functions so a lot of people who are going to be physical therapists or going pre-med or have some medical aspiration will usually do this certification um, NASM is more athletics based it's more like if, as you, if you think of like a classic personal trainer more about nutrition more about like hypertrophy stuff like that um that is more covered in nasm and then ace is kind of just the other general kind of encompasses both um any of those top three will be my best recommendation for you um any of the other ones i'd recommend getting on top of those first ones so how long will it take to study um i can't speak for the other certifications but they're generally all pretty much the same um acsm is somewhat regarded to be one of the harder exams and so i went pretty overboard with my studying mainly because i was just really passionate about learning all of it you don't necessarily have to memorize every single word but i was just really really excited to learn about it because i was starting from square one i didn't really know anything about anatomy physiology nutrition other than what i had seen on youtube and stuff like that um, so the length that it takes for you to study really depends on where you're starting. So if you're already like a kinesiology major, a physiology major, a nutrition major, so on and so forth, you'll be in a much better place than someone who was like a business major like I was, who had no background in fitness. Um, so as far as the timeline went, it took me about seven months to study. Um, I was studying probably like 10 hours a week for the first like four months and then maybe like 20 hours and 30 hours near the last 20 or 30 hours a week during the last couple months um and like i said i went a little overboard like i'm not trying to brag but i got close to a perfect score so i i may have overstudied but that was just because i was really passionate about learning it all and i wanted to make sure that i was confident in my ability to be a personal trainer once i actually got a job afterwards um so it really is what you get out what you put in um and that kind of leads me into my next point of people working in the industry so i think the most important question to ask yourself when you're thinking about getting into this industry is why you're getting into it um for me i was really passionate about fitness and being able to help people transform their bodies i was always the guy people came to in high school to ask for lifting advice or nutrition advice and the the act of helping people transform themselves and feel better about themselves um, just brought me so much fulfillment and so i knew that i loved it so much and i also wanted to learn the aspects of running a gym i wanted to learn every in and out of every position um, because hopefully someday i'll be able to do that and so that was another reason why i wanted to do it um, however i think that a lot of people 
get into this industry because they think that personal training is this glamorous cash abundant industry where you'll just be making tons and tons of money um, because it's kind of made it out to be that way through like social media and Hollywood and you know just society in general but it's really not personal training has a really high barrier to entry um, it's a very sales heavy career you'll be using more sales skills than your actual physiology and anatomy and nutrition knowledge ever. It's more about gaining client bases and gaining um, references and gaining, you know, advertising exposure and whatever it is to get new clients. It's a whole lot of sales. Um, and this was something that kind of surprised me. I thought that as soon as I got my certification, I would just be like, come to me, clients. And, you know, people don't really like to go out of their comfort zones to get advice on fitness. Um, you really have to go seek those people out and it's really hard work. Once you get more established, yes, your references can build and people start to know your name a little bit better, but starting out, it is really, really hard. Okay, so let's say you get your certification and you're all excited, you know, you're starting to look for jobs. Um, you're most likely gonna end up working for a commercial chain gym because that's the easiest place to get a job. So I'm talking about 24 hour fitness, LA fitness, gold gym, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so the thing about these gyms is they're great gyms, don't get me wrong, but they treat their personal trainers like workhorses. What I mean by that is they're gonna be setting the price that you charge your clients and they're gonna be taking a percentage out of that commission. So usually about 60%, 70%, I've even heard about 80% for some people. Um, and so what happens is you have to just burn through a large number of them. You have to meet a quota every month to even make some money as a person, as a personal trainer. Um, they also make you sell their supplements, sell their clothing, sell their products and you're just kind of constantly shoving this stuff down the client's throat. Um, but the gym doesn't care because they get so many new clients every month because these are such public companies and people know about them so much. There's just like a really high turnover rate with their clients. Um, and so this, they're relying, it's a numbers game to them. Um, and you know, I can't really blame the personal trainers because they won't be able to provide 100% effort to each client because when you have to do that many numbers within a month, you're not able to sit down and really give your undivided attention to each one and really, really, really care about them and like learn about them um, because it's just, it's not feasible as a person to give out that much energy. Um, and the other thing is that you're kind of just at the mercy of your client schedules. Like I said, a lot of different new people will be coming through that gym every month. And so they'll have different schedules. So you'll be having really late sessions at night and really early sessions in the morning. And so your schedule will be very less structured if you go down that route. So me personally, I had the amazing opportunity and experience to work at a locally owned gym. Um, it was a gym called Club 24 uh, in San Luis Obispo where I went to college. And I would highly recommend this to everybody if it was possible. Um, unfortunately, it's not for everybody, but if you have the chance, I'd highly recommend it. Um, so the good things about this place was I got to set my own prices for my training packages. Um, so if I had someone who was like required a lot of programming, I could charge them a higher price as opposed to someone who didn't require as much. Um, I could charge them a less expensive price, which makes sense. Um, they took a lower percentage of my commission, which motivated me to get more clients personally because I felt like it was a greater return on investment, I guess you could say. Um, I got to make my own programs and implement my own training style with my clients. So it really created a sense of independence because each of the trainers in the gym had like a different kind of style. Um, so each one was kind of unique, which I thought was really cool. Um, I got to set my own hours. So I just came in whenever I had clients, which was, which was a great, great thing for being a college student because your schedule is all over the place when you're a college student. Um, and it was just a great environment overall. Everyone at the, at the gym was, super friendly. I felt like all of my coworkers were really more friends than coworkers. And I just made really, really meaningful relationships there. I was just highly driven and motivated every day I came into work. It didn't feel like a job. Um, I feel like a commercial right now, but 
No, but I think I actually had a pretty positive outlook as far as my experience as a personal trainer. I just think the industry has become kind of ruined with people who are going into it just for the money. But if you think you have what it takes as far as the work ethic, the interpersonal and communication skills to do this job, I would say go for it. There's nothing stopping you. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.